Hello, thank you for joining me. This is another video in our week two videos that we're doing for AutoCAD. For the assignments are going to be due for week two, and, and, and this one is on our king bed. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to stick with A walls layer just to be consistent with our architectural layer that we've been using all this time, although it may not be appropriate for a bed. Uh, we're going to stick with that so we don't create too many layers. And we're going to stick with some of the default uh, layers that we already have embedded. So, enough of that said. Let's go ahead and go to the rectangle command. And uh, the dimensions of a king size bed is 6 and a 6 foot 4 inches on a wide by 6 foot 8 inches long. So, we'll specify the first corner. Remember when you stretch this out, you want to make sure that you do not uh, have the, the polar tracking on, which is that diagonal green line. So you can enter the coordinates. And the first one we're going to enter in is 6, single quote, quote 4, tab, 6, single quote, 8, enter. Z enter, E enter, extents. Well, as that option, you can just draw that you just drew uh, to fill up the screen. Now we're going to go to our A-size layout so we can get a proper perspective for the dimensions we're going to enter. So I don't think my viewport is, uh, is, is locked, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll around and play around with that a little bit. I'm going to select my viewport and start, and start playing around with some of the settings, uh, specifically the scale settings. So we know, if you think about it, it's a, bit, a little bit uh, more than 6 feet across the bottom which is about a, a factor of 12. We want to take that 6 feet and reduce it down to about 6 inches, which is about the width of our viewport window. That's about a 1 inch is equal to a 1 foot um, scale. So why don't we start there and see what that looks like. And that's that's really big. It doesn't quite fit. So if we go maybe maybe to half of that, half an inch is equal to 1 foot to 24 scale factor. That's a little bit too small, but there is an interim step in here, and that is 3 quarters of an inch is equal to a foot. If you click on that, that seems to fit pretty well, and I'm pretty satisfied with that. So let's go ahead and uh, lock that display. Now, three quarters of an inch is equal to a foot. If you uh, go to the website and go to the grade sheet and go to that little applet in the bottom that shows you all the scales and scale factors and other various things that go with that, uh, you'll notice that that says 16. So there's 16 three quarters of an inch units in one foot is what that means. So remember that uh, value of 16. We have a viewport locked. So Yes, it is locked. Okay, so let's go back to model space and go uh, go ahead and fix our dimensions. So go to the annotate tab, go to the dimension style, modify, overall factor of 16. Let's go ahead and enter that. And while we're here, let's go ahead and enter some dimensions. Get under dimension layer, linear dimension. It should read six foot four inches across the bottom. Space bar. Six to eight inches across the top. I feel pretty good about that. So let's continue modeling. Uh, let's do the base for the headboard. I'm going to keep stay on my dimension layer and then change all these back layer later. So I'm going to draw a line across the top, and I, I've shown you different ways of modeling. This is a yet another way of modeling where we're going to draw right on top of existing geometry, so we can get the appropriate length, and then we're just going to move it from there. So because that's a red line, it's differentiated from the white line that's below that. It's easy to, easy to select. So I'm just going to go to the move command and move that down by two inches. Next up, pillows. We have three pillows. We're going to draw one, mirror the one to the other side, and do the one in the middle by and we'll also determine what the distance is between the two. But the pillow is 22 inches, 10 foot, uh, or 1 foot 10 inches by 1 foot 4 inches. So that comes out to about 22 inches by 16 inches. So let's go ahead and enter the values for that. 22, tab, 16, enter. There's one pillow. Let's put that pillow into place. It's 4 inches from the headboard. And so we're going to move that down by 4 inches. Now, what's the difference be distance between uh, the pillows? It says on the website that you need to provide equal spacing between the pillows and dimension us. So think about it. We have a 6 foot 4 inch dimension on the bottom, uh, the width where the pillows are going to span. So that's 72 inches plus 4 inches, which is 76 inches. And you have a 22 inch wide pillow, and that uh, divided by, or multiplied by 3 pillows is 66 inches. So that's pretty easy math. That's a 10 inch difference between 76 and 66. And then divide that by the four spaces that exist between those pillows. And that's uh, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 inches. So, let's take that first pillow. Let's move it in by 2.5 inches. Mirror it. You remember how to mirror it? 
midpoint of that line, enter. Then we're going to take our last pillow, copy it. The midpoint is a reference to the midpoint as a reference there, and then move it. Yep, you guessed it, two and a half inches. Now we have our pillows in place. So let's do this. Now we're going to draw the line that represents uh, the part of the sheet. If you go to the nearest uh, object snap, and it looks like nearest is selected. If it's not selected, go ahead and select it because this is an appropriate place to do it. It doesn't matter where it's at. And, uh, the, the nearest object snap looks like kind of like an hourglass in a way. But what we want to do is we want to draw a line that runs across the top all the way to the other side. Now we're going to draw a, a square that represents uh, that downturn area where it looks like the chutes are downturned. And one thing to keep in mind about this is what we're, we're not really trying to make a bed look like a bed. It does in a very graphical sense. It looks like a bed. But it, you know, if you really look at it, it isn't really a bed. But when it's on a floor plan, it is graphically re representative of a bed. It's just with very bold lines in very specific locations with no shading or anything else. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And what we're trying to do here is uh, create a portion of that bed that looks like it's a downturn sheet or a blanket. So let's do this. We're going to draw a, uh, tri or a square. It's about 20 inches by 20 inches, 1 foot 8 inches by 1 foot 8 inches. So just like we did before, 20 tab 20. Draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other. This is going to represent the turned down portion of that uh, blanket. And we're going to go to the trim command. This is going to be a trim reference. That line in the middle, and then we're going to trim out both the tops and the side. We'll move that structure over to the side. Move it again up to where that other line is. And take this line and we'll move it back. So we're almost done. A few more steps. Let's go back to trim. We're going to select two trim references. That line and that line. Spacebar. The end of the second half of that command. Trim out what we don't want. And the thing about those pillows being poly lines, we don't have to select more than one item. It's already considered one item, so whatever we select gets trimmed out, which amounts to three lines per pillow. Except for that pillow on the right. So that's almost it. I'm asking that you dimension this uh, one line here. Make sure you do that. From that point down here to this point. Our resolution is down to a sixteenth of an inch. So if it does say an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch down there for resolution, that's okay. Uh, don't worry about that. We can adjust those settings later. Match properties. This button over here under the clipboard. Go ahead and select that. Select your reference. Select the items you want to change, which is all this. Okay, just about set. Make sure you get your viewport centered on your A size layout. Make sure you get your uh, title block changed to the appropriate settings specific to this drawing, and I think you're about done.